Unfortunately, I am coaching myself. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yo, so I'm back with another episode for you guys for my second prep series. As you know, over the last few weeks, I've obviously been on prep, but I haven't actually done many videos showing you, like how I did last time when I was showing you my physique updates, what I'm changing, what's happening, and much about the show at all, really. Because I, I tried to make it more diverse this time and do other videos that would be interesting for everybody. So I was obviously doing the ration pack open videos. I was doing the Arnold versus Chris videos. Um, and just some more diverse stuff. I'm not really going into my show too much. So it was enjoyable for everybody. But since my last video, I've had a few people asking for updates on my physique and on how the show's going, etc, etc. You miss me? Thanks so much. So... Without any further ado, I'm going to get into sort of how my prep's been going already, <clears throat> how I'm doing now, and what I'm going to do as a look into the future heading into the show. Okay, before you watch this freaking video, like it! Like the button right now! If you like it, more people are going to watch it. I want people to watch this video. This is going to be my first 1 million views video. Currently, it is the 11th of March, and I am now four weeks out. It's literally Saturday as I'm filming this. I'm bang on four weeks out from the Two Bros Classic Division I'm going to be doing in London, West London, Maiden's Head at Baywick Centre. Okay, I'll ping up a picture here so you can uh, go to that. And I'll put a link in the description as well for if you want to buy tickets because if you are looking to come and support or even if you haven't been to a bodybuilding show before and you want to come and see what it's like, I would strongly suggest doing it because it's an awesome day out. You get to see some amazing physiques and there's plenty of different physiques and different categories that you can observe and it's a hoofing day out basically. But I would suggest getting your tickets now because leading up to these sort of shows, they often sell out, especially this one because in this show, there's going to be nine pro cards given out so that means nine people on that stage are going to be made into pro bodybuilders which is huge huge deal and i'm mega excited even to be on the same stage as people that are being made to be pros it's going to be awesome so as you know i'm currently four weeks out as this video is being filmed but so how did i sort of start off so last time i done prep i want to be on prep for at least 16 weeks it all depends on your body and how far out you are and how lean you need to get etc but this time I was obviously deployed away in Norway but like a lot of you would know so I've done some videos from out there so you'll understand that it was um, very difficult at the start so impossible with uh, my career and being a Royal Marine and trying to be a bodybuilder at the same time but also being deployed away just makes it so much harder because the main fact that I cannot cook for myself so I can't track my macros and that is essentially what prep is all about but I'm still going to go for it, still going to push and when I was out there all I was doing was increasing my cardio and doing small bits like having um, fuel meals to try and cut down on calories and try and just physically take my weight and try and start the prep as best I can but obviously there was times where I was out on the ground and I was um, eating from ration packs and my sleep was messed up etc etc which made it hella difficult but moving forward from that I then came back to the UK luckily um, in the end towards the end of February which gave me about five or six weeks in the UK so I've been back for a couple of weeks now to try and prep and get down and grind hard to come in as best as I possibly can for this show. I'll show you some clips now from the last sort of couple of weeks um, from the gym and stuff and show you my sort of physique and they'll just be up here and I'll just keep on explaining uh, what I'm doing thus far. So got back from the UK, uh, sorry, got back to the UK and immediately what did I do? So I rang my calories down to 2,500 because I wasn't sure what my sort of base was and um, my weight was still kind of high. I think it was like high 80s, maybe like 88 or something like that. And maybe, maybe even more actually, I think it was maybe pushing towards 90, but my ideal world, I want to be stage weight at 85. I don't want to drop down so much like I did last time because I honestly sacrificed um, some fullness with me trying to get shredded. So I, don't get me wrong, I was absolutely shredded last time, but I was in my own head with prep and I was doing extra cardio when my coach was 
telling me to like wean off a little bit and the weight was dropping down quite a lot. Um, now, that's to be expected sometimes when you're on prep is you get in your own head and you don't think that you're lean enough. But this time, I'm gonna try and stay, stay a little bit more full and go from there. So I was at 20, um, 2,500 calories and then I've gone and had some stuff to deal with like at back at home and I kind of came off the rails like for a day or two and ate over that. Um, but then the following week, so last week, I was at uh, 2,400 and then this week just gone, I was at 2,300. Again, I've been giving myself a little refeed. So yesterday, it was so good. I went out and I had Nando's as a refeed and I felt great. And I've done that on the basis of me having a heavy leg session today, which I did. I've done my hammies and glutes. Really good leg session. So I'm on 2,300. And then I am going to be dropping it down to 2,100 slash 2,200 for this next following week. So I can see what my weight is doing after that uh, big refeed. So alongside of that, I am increasing my cardio, obviously. I'm trying to do... 40 minutes of cardio every time that I go and how many times a week I'm going sort of depends on my work because it's very different from day to day. Some days I'll have to do a lot of active stuff, some days I won't. So I'm sort of going off of how I feel a lot of this prep. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which again brings the impossible task of having my career and trying to be a bodybuilder and then being deployed and trying to be on prep and now also not having a coach unfortunately just because of my current situation it also makes it even more impossible but we are still going to push we're going to push with everything that i've got i'm still going to try and keep my head on track and try and go for the show and try and do it as much as i possibly can okay it's happening everybody stay calm what's the everybody procedure stay everyone calm. what's the procedure stay calm. so cardio is up calories are coming down and what is it going to look like for the future? Four weeks out now, I'm going to grind for this next week and keep track of my weight. That means I'll only have three weeks until the show. And two of them are going to be the diet and one of them is going to be peak week. See, I don't count peak week as technically being on prep because it's a completely different situation, completely different world being on peak week. So for them last two weeks, that is going to be my last hard sort of dieting, grinding trying to get that dry look get all of the fat completely off of me before hitting peak week that's what you need to do you need to stop being a lazy person to get rid of as much fat as you can before you get peak week with being able to retain your muscles so you want to be optimizing your sleep as much as you can your water intake your daily vitamins and etc etc so for the next two weeks, I'm going to be grinding hard, depending on my weight. I can't tell you exactly what the cardio and the calories are going to look like because I'm not sure how my body's going to go into this like sort of next week. But moving forwards into peak week, this is possibly going to be the hardest week for me because obviously I have no coach and it's going to be a mental strain a lot. Um, but this is pencil how I'm going to go into my peak week. So. On the Monday, nothing's gonna change. My diet's still gonna be low. I'm still gonna be having carbs. I'm still probably gonna go to the gym just to get like pumps in because on that last week, you can't basically, you can almost not function because you're, you're so depleted basically. So Monday, nothing's gonna change. My show is on Saturday, remember. So and then I'm gonna go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gonna cut my carbs. So I'm gonna go very low diet on carbs probably i'm still going to get minimal carbs from stuff like lettuce just minimal carbs here and there in like keto wraps um and stuff like that but i'm mainly going to be having um protein in there and fat so maybe avocado chicken breast maybe some eggs or slash egg whites depending on which has the less carbs for them three days so i'm pretty much going to go carb depleted for three days straight and that, what that is going to do is take the glycogen stores out of my muscle. Whilst I'm doing that simultaneously, throughout the week, I'm going to be having eight litres of water. So I'm going to be drinking eight litres on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, water loading. Drink, 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 drink. And then as soon as Friday comes around, that is when I'm going to start introducing carbs again. So I'm going to be going to 
a higher calorie outtake. I'm going to reintroduce the carbs, sort of carbon up for that Saturday morning because I believe the classic division starts at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, carb depleting, water loading. So I'm flushing the system so the body's getting used to getting rid of all of that water, but I'm also carb depleting so it's not holding any glycogen. And then as soon as I hit that um, Friday, when I start putting the carbs in, the, my, my, my muscles are going to be like a rock hard sponge. And then it's going to be like pouring water onto this rock hard sponge and it's going to suck up all of these carbs and basically fill out as much as possible, which is my hope. And then I'm going to um, stop the water at around the evening time on the Friday, okay? So I'm filling up with the carbs, I've got the water still in, and then on the evening time around 5 o'clock of my second from last meal probably, I will cut the water down so I'm just going to be having sips of water. I'm not going to be having like loads and loads of water like I've been having, I'm just going to be having sips. So what that's going to do is, throughout the night, I'm going to be having my vitamin C, caffeine, dandelion root, and hopefully flush out loads of water throughout the night. So I'll wake up in the morning, dehydrated, and be skin tight, which will make, hopefully, the skin be really thin, and just give you that tiny little zero point edge on your physique. And then the day of the show, it's going to be lots of carbs again, probably like squares bars, wagon wheels, chocolate bars, them sort of things. Something that's going to keep my stomach small. I don't want to be eating burgers and fries, which is going to bloat me out. Um, and then I'm going to go and compete and hopefully do quite well. We will see. But that is my aim. That's my goal. So just before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the people that have been supporting me throughout this prep, throughout last prep, but especially throughout the last few weeks, because as some of you know, I've been going through some stuff on the outside and in little things what people might think is just minor things that have been supporting me has been helping massively so thank you to them people so thank you to them people that's highly appreciated and also i just want to say next episode should be the uh first episode of buster talks bullshit which is my uh podcast style series which is like a sort of side series that i'm doing but we are filming that tomorrow so next week that should be out hopefully so that'll be something to look forward to. But until then, let's make some gains. Boom.